Hi everyone, Melissa Kirk here, design team member for Dabello's Designs. Today I'm going to be sharing with you this quick and simple Halloween tag for our pocket tag book. Um, this one here is just featuring some of the new stamps as well as some of the old with the crows. Um, a very simple technique that gets right back to basics, but it's just so much fun to do. So today I'm going to show you how to create this tag. Um, I am only going to be making possibly one or two more tag videos. Um, I want to do a winter tag and I'm going to show you how I'm going to cover my tag book. And that is going to complete the tag series. I'm going to be moving on to some cards and some other projects over the next few months. So I want you all to get inspired, create tags. There's plenty of tag videos. Think about some of your own and add them to your book and make your book yours. So um, anyways, let's go ahead and get started and let's go over the supplies needed for this tag. The supplies that we need today, the stamps are the Burst of Stars. LAV 822, Lavinia Croset, LAV 540, The Fairy Crook, LAV 823, and The Ickle Pumpkins, I'm using the one that has like a jack-o'-lantern, LAV 828. You'll also need a moon mask and a piece of torn coffee paper. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, and the word silence. I don't have the LAV number for that, but it's in the new set from last time. I'm going to be using um, inks today. We're going to be using Nocturne, Elements, Midnight Blue, and Distress Oxide, Ripe Persimmon, Wild Honey, and Seedless Preserves. And I need some blending brushes, and I have a white gel pen, and a silver, and a yellow. And I'm using the number three Lavinia stamp stencil brush. Um, you'll need your a stamping block and some adhesive to get it all together. And I'm using the same size tags as before, and they are two and three quarters by four, two and three quarters by four and three quarters, three and one eighth by five and one eighth. Let's go ahead and get started. So to start, we're going to take our tag. We're going to do some very simple ink blending today. Okay, and I'm going to just randomly start with some wild honey. And I'm just gonna just randomly place down some color. over the tag until we have a nice background that we like. Okay, and now for the stamping, I'm going to start with the Fairy Crook stamp first. And I'm inking all of my stamps in Nocturne. So Nocturne. Um, this stamp is a little bit too large for this tag anyway, so I just have it kind of hanging off. That will be fine. You want to make sure you give yourself enough room for both crows. And 
his feet line up perfectly. Down, the one that's looking down. Lastly, our little pumpkin. the burst of stars I also put it on sideways Link that up and what I like what I did is go across one way and then with the clean up pink up again and I'm going to go right through the center. And then with our moon mask, if I can find where I have put that. Do you guys ever lose your moon masks? I lose mine every time, it seems like. <laughs> Even though I have a nice dirty mask, so I won't lose it. And I still seem to. So we're going to put that right over the top of our crow. And taking the Midnight Blue and the number three stencil brush, we're going to just take some ink. I have plenty on my lid. So ink that up. And then just lightly flick all around the moon. And now I'm going to take my piece of paper and I'm just going to make myself a little hill. And I'm just going to put that down there as such. And I'm using the Midnight Blue ink again. And this time I'm going to use a bigger brush so I'm going to use my number three and give ourselves a good heel as such. I am going to go ahead and go around my card too and just kind of darken that up just a little bit all around the edge. You don't want to get fingerprints it's a good idea to have some torn paper
Okay, and then for our pumpkin and the moon, I'm going to color that in with some, um, with my gel pins. And I am just going to go right around the pumpkin and give him some glitter. With the yellow and an orange. take a little bit of my wild honey, pick up just a little, and color in. Um, with a green, I'm just going to add red glitter through the tendrils. Oh. And then with our tag or our word strip, and I'm going to put silence on right here. I'm going to Stamp that right in the center. I don't really like the way that worked. So if you have a long strip, you can always stamp it more than one time. <laughs> Quick tip. All right, and then I need scissors. And then I'm just going to take my blending brush and add some colors from my brush. I like to take my word and just go right around the edge of your ink pad. Oh, 
hopefully you can see that. We'll let that dry. Now we'll take our glue and glue that down. I'm going to put this just about there. Okay, so now with our string, we're going to just take some plain white, um, this is like a silk ribbon, but I don't want plain white. I want it to be colorful, so I'm just going to take a tiny little bit of inks and spritz it with a little water. I'm going to use the edge of my um, my paintbrush and just kind of smash it down in there. Another thing that works good is your acrylic block and you could really like smoosh it in there. Or if you don't care if your fingers get all inky, just rub it around. But it does make a mess. So your acrylic block, you can smash it, flip it, turn it, Smash it, get as much color on there as you will like. And clean up your mess. All right, well, there's our finished tag. I hope you guys all enjoyed this today. Um, it's a little different than the original, but not not too much. Um, so I will put one of them in the pocket and one of them as the page. So um, anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed that today. I will be showing my book in the next video because I haven't for a few videos now, um, but the cover is going to be a bit of a surprise and I don't want to reveal that quite yet. So anyways, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.